ladies and gentlemen, there are many natural disasters happening on this planet right now. Some of you might have heard of Alberto, the tropical storm that came up through the Gulf. Now, you know, technically we're not in hurricane season until June 1st, but I was listening to a video on the Weather Channel back in April, and they were talking about how this season they are expecting it to be a very active hurricane season. And so far, you know, with if Alberto is any indication of that happening, I think we're going to be in for a very, very interesting summer season. But let me go ahead and play this video. Although South Florida didn't take a direct hit from Alberto, many Memorial Day weekend plans did thanks to the rain. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live in Dania Beach. And Joan, how's it looking out there? Oh, Maribel, it's been a bit of a bust if people were expecting to have a lot of fun in the sun this long holiday weekend. Uh, we are here at Dania Beach where uh, they've already had a lot of erosion. And this weekend, the wind was just too much. As you see behind me, uh, this lifeguard station took a beating and actually had to be uprighted. Just another sign that this weekend has been a bit of a washout. High winds and rough surf making this a less memorable Memorial Day at South Florida beaches. We actually just got here a couple hours ago. We're about to leave on a cruise, but the sun just came out. Um, seems nice right now, yeah. It's a little breezy, but the sun's popping out, so that's nice. Heavy rain the early part of the long holiday weekend made traveling a mess and washed out many planned events from Fort Lauderdale down to Miami Beach. This couple was spared the bad weather effects. They are just back from a Bahama cruise. It was actually great. Um, checking the forecast leading up to our vacation, it was looking like it was going to be like this um, and, and rainy thunderstorms. But actually, we got great weather all the way there, and then it only got a little bit cloudy in Nassau. You can see the punishing effects of this bad weather on Dania Beach, the sand chewed away, and this lifeguard station teetering on the edge. Now, fire crews were able to upright the station and they pulled it back a little bit to prevent it from falling into the ocean. Uh, some people are showing up as we have a little break uh, from the rain, uh, some peaks of sun out here. We do see some people showing up hoping to have a picnic and beat the expected showers this afternoon. But once again, if you are headed to the beach, remember the rough, the surf is very rough and lifeguards are urging people not to go in the water. On Dania Beach at this noon, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. All right. So you see that flooding from a tropical storm. All right. And in Pakistan, they are going through a heat wave that started around May 21st. And usually when they go through these heat waves, it can last two weeks or even longer. 65 people dead. And this is very common for this type of event to occur this time of year. One thing that it does show you, ladies and gentlemen, this planet is made for the melanated. You know, some of y'all can keep up this illusion that having pale skin is the best thing to have, and that's all it is, it's just an illusion. There is no way, even with sunscreen on, you would survive, and they're saying the temperatures have been ranging between 115 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit in Pakistan. There is no way your skin is not made for this planet. You can't withstand those climates. You would die. It wouldn't matter what kind of sunscreen you bought on the shelf. So all of this, you have the best skin and you're the standard of beauty is just nothing but fantasy, okay? And the summer always shows us who can withstand this planet and who can't, period. Then we have Kilauea, the volcano that people chose to put businesses and homes on, and they're now getting swallowed up by the lava. 
This volcano claimed 10 more homes. It has opened up seven new fissures and each fissure is flowing lava. And the lava has now reached the power plant. So when you look at this map, you can see everything that's around this volcano. All right, you see vacation spots, um, homes, here's the estates. And I, I, for the life of me, I guess my IQ ain't high enough. I don't know why anybody would build a home on a volcano. And, and they did the same thing at Mount St. Helens and all of those homes got taken out. I just don't understand why you keep doing it. But like I said, I guess my IQ just ain't high enough. All right, and the scientists said that this thing is not gonna stop anytime soon. It, it could be flowing like this for years and years before it stops, which tells you right there, it's gonna be reclaiming more of the land. It'll be an interesting season to see how far it actually goes because it, it looked like it has gone quite a bit inland and it's just, it, it's still moving and taking homes out and taking businesses out. Okay, and then many of you might have seen the Ellicott City Flood in Maryland that has flooded out homes and businesses. And I was looking at some of the devastation and still shots and it's pretty bad. Um, you know, I saw the doors taken out, windows, and the flood water got all the way up to the top of the doorway. Eight inches of rain fell in a six hour period. Three hours of the heaviest rain occurred in the very beginning, but eight inches of rain in six hours. That is just insane. And this also occurred in July of 2016. They call this the thousand year flood, but it's not so thousand years because it just happened two years ago in the same exact area. But let me go ahead and play this video. Right here, I mean, you can see this. This is the alleyway. The alleyway is the alleyway. That is just insane. That is absolutely insane. Um, like I said, and now it said two years ago, they got 6.5 inches of rain that fell on Ellicott City in about three hours with 5.5 inches falling in just 90 minutes. So I don't think you can call this a thousand year flood anymore. <laughs> Not if it happened in two years, you know, two years apart. But this thing has, it has devastated that whole area. And you can see the asphalt has lifted off of the roads. I mean, everything is damaged. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Like the video, share the video. 
and join me on Black Junction TV and blackspot.com. And if you can support my channel, please do. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.